Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial in the risk of Bono Lake. So in the tutorial, you will learn how to create parameter column in Revis or you can check out our previous uh, video link in the description for how to create the red column uh, for past one. After that, here we, we are going to create our parameter column for part two and then part three we will continue to create the whole process of project okay here uh, in this case i want to create this one here this one here is a parameter column okay so let's go back to our uh, reverse interface okay here i'm in reverse interface so by create that i'm going to new for family uh, in my country, we just metric then go. I prefer for English finding for metric generates model. Uh, let me find first. Okay, this one just click here a couple of time for load in. All right, we are here. We are in uh, family in the first. So let's create our reference plan for horizontal and vertical for create our column shape. RP on my keyboard for create uh reference plan just pop up here one like this one and pop up for vertical as well okay it's time to go dimension the eye on my keyboard for dimension for shortcut equal and this one give a total length this one also equal again then this one we need to go a total week uh let's assign for parameter here this one create new parameter this one um i go to length all the ngta okay so this one is for waste w i d t a is fine okay so here now we finish our parameter let's go to family type for testing here is our family type um i would like to my column for 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter then you apply okay so that worked pretty well so i just create a formula sphere uh, like this then it's okay again we go to create tab and then choose extrusion for create our shape just hit rectangle start from here like this uh normally a parameter you need to lock all uh, in case later on you want to change for dimension or length or width, uh, it will be automatically hit a square couple of times for finish. In this quest for testing, I just go for half meter first, then hit apply. Then to assign a new material here, create a new material here, then um, just choose for material here. Okay. Then hit apply, go to parameter tab, create a new material here, new material, then rename for, just rename for Y pen, go to appearance library here, as a browser, okay, here we go to appearance library, finding for pen, okay, here is pen, uh you can choose color whatever you like you can shoot blue or black or pink uh so in this case i'm going for white color this one let finish okay here is my white color just apply then it's okay then apply then it's okay go to view one 3d gen hit finish okay okay here is what we got for our column shape uh, let's testing for our parameter first i'm going to 500 apply okay so everything look quite nice let's assign another parameter for high go to front rp on my keyboard for create a new reference line reference plan di on my keyboard for dimension okay, okay sorry <laughs> okay 500 um let's assign a new parameter here high just put x like this 
uh, need to lock as well use a line tool for lock al for line just like it like this here it's got a couple of time let's testing first before we process another process uh in this case just go it 300 apply okay so everything is go going well go back to 500 okay so now we finish our parameter column uh let's create our void here void solution here as you can see here is our process that we going to create is void solution okay so let's switch back to our project here uh, I need to get another reference plan RP on my keyboard then with the ping line uh, offset 50 like this one and this one hit a sky couple time RP again need to create a horizontal one just for up this one like this and here one like this DI on my keyboard for dimension for this one 600 uh, okay in this case just go 600 by 600 uh, so this one then chain for sorry not 600 is 60 60 okay so let's create another dimension here for the center let's assign for parameter this one i want i train rename for void high so for high okay so need to lock as well okay need not yet to lock let's create our void first go to create tab here then go to void form here drop down got our void extrusion just like here go to set plan then pick a plan uh hit a tab key for uh select all our work plan go to rectangle i start from here like this uh in this case i want just say 30 hit a scale cut part time select here one go to copy start from here until here okay so let's pick a plan again uh upset for i think i don't know 30 okay like this like this one and pick a plan again then upset for 20 i think it's pretty much okay it's too small this one sorry okay 30 then we offset 30 as well same as our process like this one and this one go to line here this one like this and here one like this okay so it's almost finished tr for stream and extend hit us a couple time okay so let's finish first uh we need to check our property panel this one i prefer for 30 so apply then hit finish okay here is what we got uh we need to lock one by one first before we start a new process please lock don't forget to lock Okay, I just want to lock as well. Like this one. This one. Uh, this one. Let's get up our time. Okay, so now everything is locked. Uh, let's try our parameter first for Y. Here yeah, is why is okay. Uh, we need to change our height to 600. And then this one just add a hundred. Apply. Okay, so now everything is look fine. Let's copy and create another side. Okay, so in the case, uh, you can create spacing by yourself. I won't create spacing for you because uh, we'll take our video long. Uh, long time so just create here then for spacing here you can create by yourself for a uh, parameter that for load into your project for this time you can use okay so here is just a quick explain 
I'm going to my reference well. Select this one. Go to draw mirror. The um on my keyboard, or you can press here. Start from here like this. Okay, here is what we got. Okay, so let's go to our 3D view here. Uh, let me try first. This one I want to say one three hundred. Okay, so far and bad will be automatically the same. So we just create another side here. Go back to four eighty. Okay, hit apply. Uh, this one I go wrong again. Four hundred. And this one four eighty. Okay, so now let's start for our leg and right. Go to leg view here. Um, this one go to hidden line. Uh, let's create another reference plan here. This one we need to tray like this. That uh, because we need to create another reference plan high here. Uh, up here on my keyboard for create another reference plan here one and here one and go to RP again then go to offset we in this case we offset 50 um, like this okay so now let's create void here go to create tab go to void void extrusion then go to pick uh, go to rectangle okay we need to set a work plan first don't forget pick a plan then um okay pick a plan first then like this okay then go to rectangle start like this this one change to 30 same as our front and this one need to copy see all on my keyboard for copy Okay, so this one need to offset as well. Um, just offset. Uh, I don't know, fifty. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, I totally forgot what I created for the front one. Okay, so let's finish our point first. Later on, we can adjustment. You can adjustment by yourself. <laughs> I totally forgot okay so go to pick again create sorty go to line here Hit the scale a couple time. This one just follow. Um, then he's finished. Okay, so let's assign a parameter first. This one like this, and this one like this. This one like this. Okay. Um, assign for parameter here. Uh, void, left, and right. Okay. okay we go wrong reference plan this one need to delete for the eye on my keyboard because we use our low overlap our reference plan so let this case one go again um y left and right okay here is no issue okay this one in this case let me delete first in case letter got confusing I try to make from here first so it's time to lock align tool for lock it's time to lock here like this one Okay, so let's start lock here. Okay, in case wrong, start from here. One, one, two, three, 
and four. Okay, so let's go another one. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so I think it's pretty much. Let's testing for our parameter. Uh, this one a void left and right. Uh, this one need to rename first. Let's me rename. Okay, this one need to rename as well. Front and bed. We finish apply then. Okay, so now we need to adjustment. Let's say I want this one is three hundred. Apply. Okay, so everything is look quite fine. Let's go. Apply. Okay. Um, go to our reference plan. This one. Okay, now we get wrong already. Actually, um, I think we create wrong already for this one. But uh, by the way, I think you got that point already. Let's continue first. So when you start practice, you can uh do correctly by yourself. Uh, go to the um for draw mirror here. Start from here until here. Okay, then go to our view. Here is what we got. Uh, try to testing our parameter here. Let's say this one I want uh seven hundred. So oh, I need to add another hundred. Apply. Okay, so as you can see, everything is going on. Okay, so a quick one, thousand. So this one we need to add three hundred. They will become a. Uh, again, apply. Okay, go to realistic. Again, when we finish. Here is our what we got. Uh, let's check our material type first. I think my family have one load into for like red one. Let's go to a quick one, please. Okay, stand up that thing. Just apply. Okay, so here is what we got. Oh, too shiny. Okay. Okay, guys. So it's pretty much for this tutorial. I hope you got that point for create all your own parameter. Um, I think video it take quite long already for this process uh by the way you got that point for create this parameter and you can check that link on description for create our do risk column again uh guys don't forget to hit subscribe button below and turn on notification for more about it with your subscriber and your like on your comment is motivate me to do another with all about rewitch in the future okay again uh thanks for watching i see you for the next episode for create the whole uh build the whole building this one that we propose okay i see you for the next episode thank you